why is the US crumbling? Now, I'm no expert, but if you look around me here, this is China. This is Guangzhou City. Look at it, it's just beautiful. Look at these skyscrapers towering above me. There's one there still under construction going up. You can see over there in the distance is the, uh, the famous Canton Tower of Guangzhou. Just look at this. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Look at these streets. Got a mall of the world over there. Now that's China. And this is America. The US economy has gone backwards in the first quarter of the year, bringing it technically to the brink of a recession. U.S. economic growth unexpectedly shrank in the first quarter of this year. That was the first time it happened since the second quarter of 2020. The economy actually contracted by 1.4% in the first three months of the year. This is incredibly scary! Okay, we're backing up, we're backing up. Condition for the past 10 years, which you all know... Are we're investigating this terrifying scene. A pedestrian... And now signs the economy is shrinking. The economy in the US has shrank 1.4%. But the economy in China has grew 4.8%. What you're seeing is enormous growth in the country. Enormous growth. The U.S. economy shrank in the first quarter of 2022. America's economy shrank for the first time in nearly two years. The U.S. economy has contracted by 1.4%. Showing our economy shrunk in the first quarter of this year. Enormous growth. <laughs> no, 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 no. Joey, Joey, listen. You're, <laughs> you're not seeing growth. You literally, your, li your economy literally shrank. That means getting smaller. Jo Joey, Joey, that's not growth, okay? <laughs> Enormous growth. China's economy grew 4.8% during that same time period. 4.8%, that is what growth looks like. Joey, just look, look behind you. I mean, you can literally see. You can literally see the growth there, that, that building being built. That's the growth. That's what growth looks like, Joey. <laughs> Look at this place, it is amazing. Look at the architecture, the mixture of the old and the new. And a park like this in the bang in the center of a city. And the tower. Canton Tower overlooking there, and then you've got the IFC uh, building there. Wow, this is amazing. So far, I am loving Guangzhou. I've not been here uh, for about six years. China is set to become the world's largest economy much sooner than expected because of how well it handled the COVID pandemic. China was able to quickly mobilize uh, its people to work together towards one goal and vastly reduce the negative impacts from the COVID-19 pandemic. Whereas in America, it is an absolute state. It's a mess, it's a shambles. I don't know what Biden's playing at. They should bring back Trump. Bring back Trump, bring back Trump. And by the way, I love China. I mean, I love China. Ah, there's another foreign over there. She's just having a nice little picnic. It's a good idea, actually. Enjoying this park. Whoa, look at these little uh, bubble uh, seating areas. That is cool. I should go inside one. They've got uh, AC inside, obviously. It would be nice to cool down. It's like a little little living room <laughs> in the middle of the pack surrounded by skyscrapers towering over you 
With higher prices, higher housing costs, higher wages, and the Fed poised to raise rates again, the country could be pushed into a recession. Is America heading into a recession? I mean, just look at their cities, look at the streets, look at the state of it, look at the way that the people are living. Look at the guy in charge, for Christ's sake. Kleptocracy, uh, yeah. Kleptocracy, and klep the guys who are the kleptocracies. <laughs> Joey B is seeking a another 33 billion US dollars in aid to Ukraine. 20 billion of it is military aid. Joey, 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 just, just, Joey, just stop with all these wars and all this bombing. Spend it on your, on your own country, your own people. Spend it on your own country's infrastructure, the streets, the people's living standards. Joey, I'm, I'm pleading with you. I'm pleading with you. Just spend it on your own country. Concentrate on your own country, your own place. <laughs> Whew, man, it is a real, it is a real scorcher today. Just look at that. This, this is China. Need I say more? Need I, need I even speak a word? I may as well just stay silent. Turn the camera around. This is China. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at that. And man, it is, it is, it is a scorcher here in Guangzhou. It's about 30 degrees. And I'm getting sweaty. Whoa, look at these uh, bamboo chairs. Oh, oh, there's someone here. There's someone over here. Oh, there's someone over here. Oh, hello. It's Baby Lincoln. Hello. <laughs> Are you trying to grab the camera? Show everyone your three teeth. Show everyone your three, three teeth. Three and a half. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Oh, look at your chubby legs. Oh, look at your chubby legs. Oh. <laughs> I really don't know what is going on in America, you know. It must be the guy in charge, that's all I can say. Bring back Trump. Bring back Trump. <laughs> Bring back Trump. People from China, they love me. They're saying that China is expected to surpass US uh, economy much sooner. Uh, than expected but i think it's going to be much much sooner uh than they expect i mean look at this look at it just look at it like i said i don't i don't need to say anything i don't need to say a word i'll just show you need i say it need i say any more i mean look at look at those trees are they palm trees <laughs> if anyone knows what trees they are then tell me in the comments below i mean this is beautiful Beautiful. I'm, 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 I'm loving Guangzhou so far. Anyway, ah, there's another foreigner there. Has blonde hair. Yo, yes. Quite busy uh, inside the uh, mall here. Lots of uh, office workers just uh, on their lunch break. It's about 1 p.m. now, ah, and it's much cooler inside here. Oh, there's a 7-Eleven there. Ah, it's a much cooler inside here. Got the air conditioning. Ah, there's so many different types of uh, food you can get. Nikon, what are you doing? Hey. Uh, what are you doing? What do you think of Guangzhou? You like Guangzhou, do you? What are you eating? <laughs> Show everyone your three teeth. Show everyone your smile. What are you saying? Are you talking? <laughs> Look at this building here. Amazing architecture. It's the Guangzhou Library. Wow. And I can imagine uh, you come here at night and it must look amazing with all the uh, all these buildings lit up. It's a long way up there. Whew. Oh my God, look at that. That is crazy. Guangzhou Opera House. Wow, 
looks and made us so futuristic. You can see over there all the cleaners there maintaining the, the city. China's very good at maintaining what they have, unlike uh, America, you know. They seem to lack maintenance. Oh, there's some kind of uh, stadium here alongside the uh, alongside the river, right next to the uh, Canton Tower. I don't actually know what stadium that is. If anyone knows, then let me know in the comments below. And there's Guangzhou's famous landmark, the Canton Tower, formerly known as the Guangzhou TV Astronomical and Sightseeing Tower, standing at 604 meters tall, 1,982 feet. And she's a real beauty. It's such a uh, nice area. This would actually be a good place to, um, to come in the morning and uh, as a jogging route. Um, it's just a shame that I don't jog. <laughs> oh, here's some uh, some people filming uh, something over here. Don't know what's going on. Some kind of interview. Ah, wow. How many cameras do they need? Wow, I think um, I think I think I'm in love with Guangzhou. Just look at that. Oh. I hope Guizhou's not watching this, but I think I might move to Guangzhou. <laughs> ah? Lincoln's Lincoln <coughs> Lincoln's got a new girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. 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 Lincoln's a girl like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hello. <laughs> What's Lincoln do? Lincoln's first girlfriend. <laughs> More maintenance uh, going on over here. You know, it's one thing to build all of this, this kind of interest infrastructure, but you really need to maintain it, and that's what China is really good at. Uh, actually, I don't know what they're doing. What are these lines? If anyone knows, then uh, tell me in the comments below. Okay, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed that little tour around Guangzhou city and uh, Lincoln. What do you have to say to everyone before they uh, before they sign off? Uh, before we leave, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? You're having some water. Say signing off, Lincoln. Signing off. S signing off. See you in the next one. He's holding like this. Signing off. <laughs> You're gonna so, drop your bottle. Ink is the wine. <laughs> it's holding so tight. You're gonna drop your bottle here. Yeah. Signing off. Signing off.